Hi, my name is Craig Lloyd, CEO of the Murrindindi Shire Council. Thanks for tuning in to Council's COVID-19 pandemic update for Friday the 24th of April. The total number of coronavirus cases in Victoria is 1,343. That's an increase of six from yesterday, but there have been no new community transmissions confirmed for the past few days. Murrindindi Shire still has only the one confirmed case. Today, the Prime Minister provided an update following a meeting of the National Cabinet, and that comprises of the Prime Minister and state and territory leaders. He advised that work was underway to develop a set of principles to guide the future resumption of sport, and that includes the major sporting codes as well as community sport. These guidelines will also include individual passive sports and recreation. National workplace principles are also being developed to guide workplaces on safe distancing, cleaning and the like to get people back to work when restrictions are lifted. Very late yesterday, the State Parliament passed legislation to allow council meetings to be held online. And this is to help us observe COVID-19 restrictions when we meet. A special meeting of council will be held on the 6th of May at the request of the Mayor, Councillor Lee Dunscombe. And at that meeting, council will consider giving formal public notice of the draft budget for 2020-21 and to commence a public submission process, and that's in accordance with the Local Government Act. As I've mentioned previously, officers have recommended a 0% rate increase this year, uh, well, obviously well below the 2% rate cap set by the state government. We're also recommending the removal of the commercial property differential rate, that that's a 25% premium uh, on top of rates for one year, and the allocation of an additional half a million recovery fund, as well as a very significant capital works program to help support and stimulate our local economy. As you know, our library branches are closed, but there's a lot of work going on behind the scenes to make sure we're still delivering the same great services and programs and things like Book Butler have been very successful. A big thank you to our library team. We've been busy creating some great video content on the Murrindindi Library Service Facebook page for most of our usual programs, such as Storytime, Acoustica and the Tuesday Talks. The team are excited to deliver this content and they're going to keep posting these videos, so make sure you like the page. If you don't already follow that page, do that and follow along. Also don't forget there are a wide range of online resources for library users, things like ebooks, audiobooks, learning tools, e-magazines and movies. And you can check out our website and you'll find links to the Yarra Plenty Regional Library, which Murrindindi is part of. All you have to do is log in with your library membership details and start browsing. If you don't know how to do that, just give us a call and we'll talk you through it. Anzac Day traditions are still being held tomorrow, albeit in a very untraditional format. All community commemorative services are cancelled due to the virus restrictions, but RSL Victoria are encouraging community members to remember the fallen and pay our respects for their sacrifices from home. This involves standing on your driveway, in your front yard or on your balcony, and observing a minute silence as the last post is played during the Anzac Day dawn service. The service is being live streamed uh, from the Shrine of Remembrance in Melbourne uh, from 5.50am to 6.30am and whilst the public won't be able to attend, you can view the service online at RSL Victoria's Facebook page, on television and you can also listen, uh, online, listen online or stream um, UGFM station in your area. If you're a business operator in the Shire and you haven't already done so, don't forget to register your business for our free online directory. The site's available now at dindydirectory.com.au and we'll soon be heavily promoting this directory right across the region. So don't miss out on 75 businesses have already registered, which is fantastic. That's all from me for today. Thank you for watching. Have a good weekend. Uh, pay your respects on Anzac Day and stay safe. Stay home.